Hello and welcome to another episode of Atomic Heart and let us just get in. This game is very weird so be prepared for basically anything. I forgot what it was honestly. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Didn't know I could do that. Good to know. Did that not came from here? I'm honestly not quite sure. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, ah. actually. Kinda like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. Okay. Interesting. There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? Of the course they do. A combination lock. Uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Something's got to move. Anything. Uh, what was that? The skipper. Authorization made. <laughs> Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. Ah. Fuck me. Holy fuck. A talking corpse. Okay, got it. I think. I think it's this. There you go. I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. We are ready to depart according to your ticket. Ten. Sorry. Nine. No ticket. Eight. 
I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Reflexes, Major. You bet. I not survive it all. Charles, that was a Barov, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Irony, comrade. I took such good care of those wonderful, powerful, brilliantly designed machines. And now, all oh, the irony. What are you talking about? The Buravs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, covering? What's so ironic about that? Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, you see. I was a Borov roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, digging God knows what, like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of without us. Sorry, I gotta run. Sure, sure. Okay. Which isn't weird at all, I, I can talk to dead people. Serious security. 
People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. Honey, you're back. What took you so long? I was so... Ugh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes! Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall. That hurt! Okay. That is not creepy at all. Is everything ready? Did you pull it off? Don't worry, honey, I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. That scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations, and that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning! Hey, freeze! Warning! Get Red it. alert. Lockdown in progress. Robots around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Okay. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. have to carry it like this the candle is a complex unstable piece of equipment it cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items there is a high probability of mutual destructuralization like an explosion not necessarily but the candle would be disabled so I'll have to carry it like this got it the candle is quite durable you can drop it or even throw it intentionally nothing will happen to it mm-hmm I like the classical music in the back.
Ah, better. Loot everything. I do not trust you one bit. like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop and experimental materials leaked out that's actually good for us Perfect. This is the lunar, a kind of lock. Now I've got one. Weird song, but I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine after all. Neat. Okay. Can't go there. Can I... Nope.
Collecting data. Come on. Okay, I can't go here. Okay. How am I supposed to do this one? Okay. Oh, there. I'm just blind, that's why. Came from here. Now I have to go here. being stupid. Can't run in these, okay. Obviously, the last canister has to be lodged deep in the universe.
Whew, this place is huge. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank. The heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost. Crispy critters! They're most certainly crispy, Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this!
I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. According to biometric readings, this is Petrov. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up.
lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. Harmless my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. Where do you think the canister might be? A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. Ah, let's go find it. Judging from its shape and diameter, indeed. And this, this game is really weird. of mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Probably. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up. Yeah, there we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. Careful, it's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky.
Can't this lousy goddamn cable car go any faster? No one foresaw this particular turn of events. It was a rhetorical question, Chuck. need to speed up the last motor. No, well, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. Lights all around, Chela's buzzing in the distance. Comrade Major? Yes? Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? 
Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? No, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Got it. They must be in a room somewhere around here. stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperatures. Okay, I found the opening. The boiler's too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. this shit to the boiler myself? Okay, that that is massively on that is atrocious. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? It's a good thing the pipes openings in the next room and not over by the birch tree. Second one's all. 
all set. Öyle. Who the hell came up with all this shit? I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Oh, come on, really? If I knew I want to get back, it would be better. Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If your life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean, the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Okay. Terraform Mars it is. Ah, come on. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on, really? The canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. Attention, distribution okay. center employees. 
Access to the right wing of the complex is now available. Okay. What does that mean though? Sorry, but gotta go. Saving data. All right, that's a good way to do this, actually. And with this, I am ending this episode. I wish you all a good day. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.